Hi and welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the fifth episode of season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer called Reptile Boy. Last time we saw Xander's love life continue as it has before when an Incan mummy who was always prepared for an accident with bandages easily available fell for him. We saw her draining the life of other people to maintain her normal form and in the end even her feelings for Xander were not enough to stop her urge to save herself as she tried to drain Xander's life force. Uh, it appeared that she was just too late though as she turned to dust before she could finish. So let's see what happens in this episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here and at the end of the reaction I'll be discussing what happened and my thoughts about the episode. And I'm going to start it in three, two, one. Someone doesn't like monks. Is there a nun on the run from the monastery? Oh, yay! That's good for property value. House right next to a cemetery. <laughs> Callie, Callie, where are you going? Oh, he's just getting started. Hmm. That doesn't sound too good for her. Dr. Debbie says when a man is speaking, you make serious eye contact and you really, really listen. And you laugh at everything he says. <laughs> Women normally laugh at me, not necessarily with me. Is that still the same thing? I'm just thinking about him so much lately. You two are so right for each other. Except for the... Uh... Slayer vampire thing. <laughs> You yawned your way through weapons training last week. You 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 skipped hand to hand entirely. Are you going to be prepared if a demon springs up behind you and does this? Uh, oh. Yes. When you live on top of a, a mystical convergence, it's only a matter of time before a fresh hell breaks loose. Unfortunately, that's true. You should hone your skills day and night. That's probably true as well. You you you, you have a duty, a, a purpose. A, you have a commitment mm. in life. Now, how many people your age can say that? How many would want to say that? Well, here's a hard fact of life. We all have to do things we don't like. And you have hand-to-hand -hand this afternoon and mm. patrol tonight, so I, I suggest you come straight here at the end of, of period six and, and you get your homework done. And don't dawdle with your friends. And, and don't think sitting there pouting is going to get to me, because it won't. <laughs> Cordelia. Hi, Richard. That's the guy. Well, that's the mug. We're having a little get-together tomorrow night at the house. And it's going to be a really special evening. Come on, Richard and his fraternity brother want to meet you. Well, I don't really want to meet any fraternity boys. She's obviously not that bothered about meeting them because Cordelia couldn't drag her if she didn't want to go. I'm Tom Warner. I'm a senior at Crestwood College. And I, are you a senior here? Junior. I'm not quite sure the age, how the ages work with juniors and seniors. But I'm guessing there's a bit of an age gap. I would guess he's pretty much an adult, and she's a child. I only joined the fraternity because my father and grandpa were in it before me. Why have I got a feeling the nice one's probably the worst one? That's the best angel's about to pop up. There's blood on it. I can smell it. It's a creepy gift. You don't want to have a date. Who said date? I, I, I never said date. Right. You just want to have coffee or something. You're 16 years old. I'm 241. <laughs> That's a bit of an age gap. Just trying to protect you. This could get out of control. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Mm. That's a good way of putting it. When I kiss you, you don't wake up from a deep sleep and live happily ever after. No. When you kiss me, I want to die. That doesn't sound like a particularly healthy relationship. Anyway, the deal is they need you to go. And if you don't go, I can't. I'll go. Ooh, Great! That's not a rebound thing at all. Not that they split up or are they technically even together? I don't know. On my oath, before my assembled brother, I promise to keep our secret from this day. In his name. Whose name? It is Angel barely says two words to me. And when he does, he treats me like I'm a child. You are a child. She'll patrol and, and we'll reconvene. Um, uh, she is hello? there. She's standing right yeah. here. I've got a mountain of homework to do. 
<clears throat> and um, my mom's not really feeling well, and she could probably oh. use my help. And um, well, I'll take an early pass this evening and um, one later on, but for the bulk of the evening. Oh, you should stay home with your mother. Should have been honest. If you're going to do a quick tour before and after anyway, you could probably get away and justify it to him. Seven days a week, I'm busy saving the world. Once in a great while, I want to have some fun. Yep. That's what I'm going to have tonight. Fun. Yeah, probably not, but the idea sound. Ugh, why do they park so darn close to you? Flip heck. Thank you. Oh, is there alcohol in this? Just a smidge. It's not the alcohol we worried about, it's what else is in the... That was stylish entrance. Blimey. I'm assuming that the males there are all part of the fraternity. So that's they're going to recognise that he's not part of the fraternity, but the girls could be from anywhere. I assume that's how it works. You go! Easy, dance! Come on, sweetheart! He's a winner with the ladies. We're not all a bunch of drunken louts. Some of us are sober louts. And kidnappers. You're not seeing someone? Someone's not seeing me. Mm, that's not being true to yourself, though. This dork. Never seen him before in my life. I thought they'd recognize someone who's not from there. No! Glass on the window that that girl broke when she tried to escape. And she was looking in the direction. She knows that the cemetery is over there, so she's putting a few things together then. What the hell? I'm tired of being mature. I have a feeling that's not good. Pulling up their school newsletter for the past few months. See if there's anything about a missing girl. Surely it'd be one of those in every <laughs> every week on a thought round there. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, drugged. I wonder if uh, she's got strength and other abilities. I wonder if she can fight off um, like drugs and stuff more quickly than anyone else. She was drugged in um, that uh, Invisible Girl episode. Cordelia uh, was Cordelia drugged because Cordelia was awake before her. But I can't remember if Cordelia was drugged or not. <clears throat> you would have thought that she would. I would have thought. Oh, I would have thought she would heal and recover more quickly. That's not good. That's really not good. She's here for the pleasure of the one we serve, hmm. and that goes for the other one too. Who is the one? I'm calling Buffy. No! Why not? Ooh. Because Buffy and her mother... You can't so, lie. Quite right. No, there's no point in disturbing them until we know more. God, he was quick taking that uh, bra off. It almost take most men about uh, 20 minutes to do that. Was well, that just me? Who wants going home? Oh, she's Ever. still alive. Like one of them is different than the others. Nicer. That's always the nice ones you have to watch out for. South Wall, that's near the college. Oh, and she's going to tell both of them the fraternity house. that she's gone to the a party. Could they be taking these girls? Let's get out there. Oh. Buffy is there. Why do you think she went to that party? Because you gave her the brush off. And you never let her do anything except work and patrol and... It's true. You're killing her with the pressure. I mean, she's 16 going on 40. And you! I mean, you're going to live forever. You don't have time for a cup of coffee? <laughs> Go Willow. She was right, though. Okay. He who is the source of all we inherit and all we possess. If he's on campus, that um, 
reptile creature. Does that mean he's probably studying? Doing something like economics or philosophy? He shall be unhunkered. Oh, that's quite cool. It's got like a snake tail. Just, you can move it, slither around. They were wearing robes and went down to the basement. I was going to use it to sneak in. They may be involved in some kind of ritual. That's quite the plan. Girls. Oh. <laughs> you do want him on your side to something like this. Hey, reptile boy! Nope. Good makeup. I told you to shut up. I have a feeling you're about to die. Let me in, I don't want to miss the uh Come You know what? What are they? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I've never hit anyone, so I don't know what it's like, but um Yeah, that's probably realistic. Why weren't they all down there? Why are there some of them upstairs, not in uh, hoods? Let it go, Wormy. Was that it? Was that all it took? You did it. You saved us. I've never been so happy to see anyone. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> I'm surprised Angel's been so good with him and not uh, hurt him. I drive you too hard because I know what you have to face. Yeah, but... From now on, no, no more pushing, no more prodding. Mm -hmm. Just um, an inordinate amount of nudging. <laughs> He's going to need to push sometimes, just not all the time. Investigators found the bones of missing girls in a huge cavern beneath the frat house. And older bones dating back 50 years. Surprising number of corporations whose chairman and founders are former Delta Zeta Kappas are suffering from falling profits, IRS raids, oh, and suicides in the boardroom. I hear this place uh, serves coffee. I thought maybe you and I should get some. Sometime. Yeah. Sometime. Odd reaction. Okay. It was an all right episode. I have to admit, was a, one of my favourites. Um, so that creature, they, uh, students and by the sounds of it their relatives who'd been in there before had been sacrificing people to it and it gave them luck basically and fortune. That's quite a power. And then when it died, that wore off as such, and all their power faded. So that, that um, stock prices were falling, um, uh, there were IRS raids, that's Inland Revenue Service, I think, um, and suicides. So that's, that's quite a power. Sacrifice something to a creature and you get wealth and power there's probably a lot of people who would do that and take it up on its offer how you found out that it uh, that would happen I've got no idea, I mean that creature didn't speak it's um, hissed a lot doesn't mean it doesn't speak but we didn't see it speak so how would you know that sacrificing something to it is going to give you wealth and power and it's for f 50 years that's obviously only 50 years there, it might have lived somewhere else, but that's probably likely its home. Um, yeah, that's just a weird twist, uh, that um, sort of side of things. Um, I didn't quite get the, the end bit. I know, obviously, Angel was asking Buffy out for a drink, but then she just sort of plays coy. I suppose that was the point. She was playing coy. Um, she kind of got what she wanted and was keeping him on his feet, I suppose. But uh, yeah, didn't I would have thought she'd have said something like, yeah, "Let's have a coffee now," or "Yeah, maybe tomorrow night," or something, just to say, "Yeah, sometime," and then walk off. A bit weird. Anyway, um, yeah. So I mean, the makeup was good on the creature. I thought that was quite cool. I, I liked the way it moved. Um, so he had that long tail which I assume went down a long way into the ground um, and then the way it sort of swerved and swivered, uh, swivered? slithered um, that was quite cool 
cool movement. Um, considering it was called Reptile Boy, uh, the episode, uh, she obviously called it Reptile Boy. We only saw it for about a minute. It was a bit of a, a weak link to the story. I know that's kind of what it was all about, but um, yeah, that was a bit odd. Um, yeah. Uh, we, I've talked about it before. Um, Giles does. I was going to say push her too hard, and that's not quite true. Just doesn't take into account that she is a young girl. Um, and he gave his reasons for it then, and they are absolutely valid reasons for him. I completely get that. He's trying to make sure she's prepared to live, basically, to not get killed. But whilst he's preparing her to live, she's not being a student and a 16-year-old girl and getting that experience for life, if that makes sense. Um, she needs to be with friends and to experience things to be able to develop as a person, not just survive. So, uh, hopefully, he will back off a little bit. Like I said, though, it doesn't mean he should back off completely. She's going to need a little bit of a <laughs> prod every now and again. We've seen that. But if the thing is compromised a bit on things, um, hopefully that'll make for a bit more of a harmonious relationship and a bit more of a balanced life for her, which she needs um, as a person and as the Slayer, hopefully. Yeah, so not a top episode for me um let me know what you thought in the comments below interesting to hear what uh, you think about this one and i shall see you for the next one be seeing you